good morning to all i hope you are doing well at home last time we have completed second lesson today we are starting with the third lesson which is introduction to the internet okay and today we are going to take some of the part of this lesson okay which is in lesson plan number 1 so first let's understand what is the internet over the past century and half important technological developments have created a global environment that is drawing the people of the world closer and closer together as we entered the new millennium internet revolutionized our society our economy and our technological systems the internet is a treasury of knowledge information and services available right on your desktop the internet integrates the technology of communications and computing this integration has provided instant connectivity and global information services to all its users at very low cost the internet is formed by the global interconnection of hundreds of thousands of otherwise independent computers and information systems it is estimated that more than 100 million host computers on the internet today serve about a billion users in over 200 countries and territories so let's check history of the internet so that we'll get each and every information about the internet okay so i hope you can see here this is arpa net was the first large scale internet created in 1968 by the united states defense department's advanced research projects agency darpa the arpa net was a set of interconnected us military computers to communicate defense and security related information okay emails were the first used through the arpa net means computers were specially made at that time for the military okay the popular bulletin board system usenet was developed in 1979 the updated version of the internet okay usenet came in 1979 the introduction of personal computers in that is known as pcs in the late 1970s increased the number of internet users they used email and participated in discussions the tcp ip protocol was developed in 1982 and it, it was developed and implemented in 1982 it has been the only protocol used since then tcp and ip protocol next was internet relay chat it became available in 1988 which led to the formation of chat room communities and the last which is the important revolution which has made our life super speedy and very very comfortable the internet as a global web of information world wide web known as www was developed by tim berners tim berners lee and robert kailau robert kailau in 1991 at the european center for nuclear research so this is the history of internet how internet started its journey with arpanet and it came here www world wide web okay so this is what the history of the internet now let's understand the structure of the internet okay the world internet is a combination of two words interconnection and network okay this word internet is a combination of two words internet interconnection and network the internet is a super network formed by interconnecting independent networks all over the world 
millions of smaller domestic academic business and government networks are connected together for sharing of information and resources in this super network there are some large high speed computers that are used to store information these computers are known as servers okay these are the like cpus only but they are main servers all the information is stored here okay servers are connected to cables that transmit information at a great speed pcs are connected to servers through telephone lines these are the pcs they are connected through a telephone lines local area networks are connected to the servers through through routers the servers are interconnected on land as well as across the oceans a large fiber optic cables called as backbones or information super highways okay next one is internet service provider means exactly what internet connectivity services are available all over the world through internal internet service providers indian isps are vsnl mtnl and satyam okay internet service providers are known as isps internet users could get connected to the internet through such isps a dial up connection requires a modem and a telephone line to get connected to the isp so there was a time when people used to have this dial up connection broadband connection uses a dedicated coaxial cable fiber optic or co copper wire wifi provides wireless access to computer networks places providing wifi internet access are called hotspots even just take mobile of your mummy or daddy and you will get there is one option hotspot mobile hotspot so you can give internet connection to others as well okay and such places are known as wifi cafes this services may not be free to all or free only to customers or free uh, or fee based so this is all about isp okay the system by which we get internet and the system provider of internet service is known as isp and the major names or the important names are vsnl mtnl and satyam these are the three indian major isps okay so now let's check what is called as or what are the real uses of internet okay first is email we know that now the time has changed there was a time when we used to share letters fax but now there is one option it is called as electronic mail it is like letter only but this letter is an electronic letter you can just type <coughs> and send it takes hardly few minutes or seconds within few seconds the receiver gets an email and he is also going to reply you with same speed okay with email you can send text messages pictures sound okay with other internet users across the world in just a few seconds just imagine your brother is in america and you want to send some of the photos okay you can just attach and you can send it to him or you want to send him some important documents so you can just have soft copies attach them and send it to him and he'll get within few seconds next one is news groups on internet there are various news groups okay so these are used to exchange views ideas news and other information an internet user can directly participate in discussions on different topics user can also post his message on the board and other news group participants can read it and also post their replies okay 
and next one is online chatting and conferences internet users across the world can communicate live with one another initially users could exchange only text messages but now it is possible to send voice images and sound as we know that like we make video calls whatsapp video calls so it is similar to that only it is online chatting and conference means meetings there are special softwares to have audio video conferences on the internet as you know that nowadays we have started online lectures for which we are using zoom application so that is nothing but online chatting and meeting okay so i hope you have understood all these three let's check what is next is file transfer protocol ftp now this ftp means what so it is one of the most common methods of getting information from the internet is ftp how you can take information from the internet like this is a main server this is your computer known as personal computer pc okay you just ask for some information you get the information in your computer okay so it is simple like how to use Uh, this ftp service it is one of the most common methods of getting information from the internet known as ftp file transfer protocol using the ftp a user can copy files from a remote computer to his computer this is a remote computer okay this process is called downloading like whenever we have to download songs any pdf file any video or any game that process of taking that file from that computer to our computer or in our computer is known as downloading the remote computer from which you are copying a file or to which you are sending a file is called the ftp server a client computer can also send a file to the ftp server this is called uploading at the same time suppose you are sending some files to this computer okay that is called as uploading like you can upload a movie a song or anything on youtube okay that is called as uploading okay next thing which has completely changed our life called as world wide web it is a collection of all websites on the internet all these websites are linked to one another to form a global web of information okay it's like a spider's web there are various websites which they have kept together and hence it is known as world wide web okay in ww all the information is stored on computers called web servers okay the client makes use of a program called browser to access information on the ww okay we know we use google browser we use yahoo browser we use internet explorer okay microsoft edge so there are various browsers which we can use to find out the required information okay now which search engines are useful while doing so so the answer is here Google Yahoo okay mostly people use Google it's very compact reliable and user friendly search engine then Yahoo is there Yandex is there AOL is there ask.com is there Baidu is there okay and Bing is there and various others are there so it looks like this Google here you need to type something after that press here just click and within few seconds that particular website will come you get many choices you have to just see which one is useful for you and you have to select that once again you have to just click on the same and that website will get open for you okay so these are the search engines 
okay with the help of these you can find out the information which is present there on the world wide web correct nice so why internet is useful uh, sharing resources for commerce and entertainment for business purpose and entertainment purpose you can share resources like you can buy and sell products you know that we use amazon flipkart what is this this is simply there are some applications on the internet and by using them we can buy or sell our products also manage bank accounts nowadays we use everything online we say online bill payment online recharge online dstv recharge or we can check our account balance we can send money to our friends and relatives okay so for managing back bank accounts also internet is useful you can study a subject of your choice and obtain a degree okay so because of corona we know that we have started online education so you can complete online courses you can obtain a degree for yourself at the same time you can read newspapers magazines also during the corona time the newspapers physical copy was not available so we used to read the soft copy okay it's called as e paper it is called as e paper e newspaper okay so for reading various newspaper and magazines it can be used last you can watch movies you can play games and you can listen to music also okay so there are various websites like youtube is there okay netflix is there and various other options by which you can play games you can listen music and you can enjoy your favorite movies streaming media what does it mean by streaming media many existing radio and television broadcasters such as the british broadcasting corporation known as bbc provide internet feeds of their audio and video streams some also allow preview and listen again features so there are websites like bbc and there are various like uh, prasar bharti also they provide audio and video streams okay whatever their programs they have produce and they have broadcasted they just keep record of the same so once again we can hear those news and various videos by just going on their website last is voice over internet protocol which is known as voip okay what is this voip this phenomenon began in 2000 as an optional two way voice extension to some of the instant messaging systems as it is the internet which carries the actual voice traffic voip can be free or cost much less than a normal telephone call especially over long distances so this particular system or option is used for calling okay so here the cost is very less in some of the cases it is completely free you can see here in the picture you can call by using your laptop or tablet phone okay it is internet call known as voice over internet protocol voip so today we have completed all these points next time we are going to check few internet related terms okay but what you have to do you are not supposed to write any question answer instead you have to read the complete lesson okay you have to read the complete lesson you have to read it so that next time when we'll take the remaining points there won't be any difficulty while understanding the lesson understood so you have to read the complete lesson you have to grow, go through all the points which we have completed today so students thank you so much for listening so quietly and watching this video okay so thank you so much have a good day to all